Hello, my name is Radix and welcome back to Size Factory. And those that have a keen eye will notice a small difference here. I finally got my central storage unit in place. All these are just taking it over to be recycled and whatnot. And these ones are all sort of if I need them. Which I'm sure I will at some point. So, I know I said that I wasn't going to build it here but laziness got the better of me and I've also done the final research which was the particle accelerator which is you know what we need for our final component in the space elevator and yes I am going to be doing the space elevator but to do these components I'm going to be needing power lots and lots of power the other thing that I done whilst I wasn't recording was logistics as you can see we have components over here from our factory. I just like everything in one place that I can grab and then run off. I've also done a steel and copper smelting plant down there and brought all the materials, well, most of the materials, to making the fuel rods for the nuclear power. And to be fair, it's going to be a big project. If you look on the right, these are all the machines needed just for the rods alone. This isn't even including the recycling of the nuclear waste, which we're going to be doing afterwards. And I don't know whether or not I'm just going to turn it on and let the nuclear waste build up. But let's head over to where our nuclear plant has kind of been started. I've mostly just been doing the base, but we have all the materials over there because I put them in big boxes. So, shall we leave? Welcome to the start of our nuclear plant. Now I know it doesn't sort of look too much, but you know, everything starts at simple beginnings. And here, so this is what I've moved over from our main factory. These need to keep moving and there's, I think, uh, aluminium underneath. Yeah, because I'm actually getting more power by recycling these than just letting them build up. And plus it clogs up my system down there. And down here we have all our, what is it, limestone, it's about 810 in total. <sighs> and, oh I forgot to mention this, I actually constructed a train over here to claim the uranium. And down here we have some sulfur, it's just out of range of our tower. But that's fine, it's there. So we've got both our sulfur and uranium. That's basically, come on save. Thank you. That's taking it across here, down, down here, across, up here, and to here. Basically, you can see from here, kind of over there in the distance. I've also brought over some um, circuit boards, because I did a, a new plant there, just, just to get the materials for this one. I mean, do you really want me to see me do circuit boards again? It was just rubber and coke. That's it. Nothing fancy. And then all the excess power went into fuel generators. So, shall we start building the bottom? I don't have my plastic, but that's fine because we have all the materials here. So I'm not running back and forwards. I planned, see? I promise you. Of course, I didn't plan for power to be here. Okay, man. Eh. Yeah. Really? Ah, <sighs> so, yeah. Let us build out this floor because I'm not sure how big this is going to be. But right now we need for the limestone or concrete. We need uh, what? How many was that? I think it was 18 in total, so nine on each side. Ah, this is going to be interesting. So yeah, I will just get them sort of built out. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is. Uh, I might want a little bit of room between these. About here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh god, this is bigger than I thought. I said I'm giving myself all this space because I simply do not know how bad this is going to extend. And eventually, uh, it depends. I might move the fuel rods up here so that we have much more room to work with because. The edge of the map is somewhat close here. I wish it was as big as this side, but eh. I'm not the game developer. I can't say how big the map is. And also these are the wrong way around. God damn it. <sighs> it's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. All right. Then we're just going to do nine on the other side. And to help measure it out, we're going to merge these. So, yeah, this is going to be all the concrete we need for the first part. I can't believe I'm saying the first part. Absolutely insane. Would also help if I put these the correct way around, too. Come on, it's been a few days since I played. And no, I'm not colorblind, I'm just stupid. Although I could use that excuse just to just to make it believe that I'm actually not as useless as I show myself. Alright, so this is all the concrete for one section. And I'm actually tempted to build the refineries off over here for the sulfur. But we'll see if we have the room. Oh, I need concrete. It's a good thing I brought all this. I'm just going to have a little look over to see if we have room by our train station. Because we need to do a whole bunch of acid on this side. I suppose I could actually do it here and bring it up. Yeah. Bring it here, bring it across. Because we're going to be needing eight foundries. Uh, you know, dear. hang on. Let me just have a little look. So, we've got the concrete done. You know, we'll do the steel beams. That'll wait until last. I don't want to bring the nuclear material over because I'm going to have to be using my filters. And I, I don't want to do that. You know what? I've had enough of not being able to get up here. Uh, I need to bring power over here. Okay, so with this done, I suppose now we can do the steel. I suppose I can just expand it out here. We're going to be moving everything about anyway. Now, the smart person would have planned this to be nice, compact, and everything be super close. Not me. No, I have to make things more difficult for myself. So, steel beams... Uh, I guess we can just put these here. So, we need... Oh my god. Uh, need five of one. Yeah. Because these are going into different areas. God damn it. This is why I build platforms everywhere. One, two, three, four, and five. It's, get, it's getting more, more choppy to save. I'll say that much. And then from here, we need... Another five. Okay, so ten in total. Like I said, I'm working off a spreadsheet here. Which I suppose we can actually just do here. Eh, yeah, screw it. Why not? You know what? We'll move them further back. I, I want to make sure that I have enough room. Ah, need cable. I was tempted just to literally bring a train here with all this, but... I don't know, I kind of like this. I mean, we need to decorate and whatnot, and I keep saying that. I'm never decorating these, ever. Uh, maybe maybe I might do a whole decorating, you know, a few episodes whilst the elevator is being constructed, all the parts for it, because, you know, we do have, like, ten hours. What am I going to do in ten hours? I have no idea. And now we need... Hang on, where's the copper? Yeah, so the copper's here, which means we can do the wire here because we can just bring it up. Yeah, like I said, there's a reason I built it here. So now we have wire. We need eight of these. Good God. You know, I should really should mark these before I start getting confused. So that's our wire. I might be able to trim this away. Oh my god, because... So basically what we're doing is... Oh, I don't even know how I can explain all this. We're not that far from being done, surprisingly. It's the 12 friggin' blenders that are going to be a problem to fit in here. So, our acid is going to be off on the side. We've got this, we've got that. We need assemblers... And that's going to take steel pipe, so we can stick the assemblers here. 
Oh, this is going to be a bitch to um, <laughs> put together. I suppose we'll just give it a wee bit of room. Yeah. So we need... Do, 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 uh, three assemblers. We need a floor with three assemblers. One, two, three. And then we need four assemblers. Oh, good. Which I suppose we can do over here. Like I said, I'm trying to keep a kind of cube-like structure to everything so that I can box it all in later. And it makes it look like I actually knew what I was doing. So we need... Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Please send help. We don't. We need six here. Well. Bugger. You know what? We'll do what we've done here and we'll flip these around. But I need a measurement. So, okay. You know I should do belly up power it and not actually switch it on just yet. Yes, yeah, six of these. Jesus. Oh, and don't worry, there's um, how many blenders? 12 or something blenders? It's pretty nutty. Like I said, I remember the first time looking at new, um, nuclear, I just laughed and went, nope. <laughs> nope, because I know that's for the final space elevator project. Also, do not delete that down there. It'll be a pin in the ass to reset back up. Okay. We've got our assemblers in place. And now, those three assemblers, as a matter of fact, there's one set of three and one set of four. So, give these more room. Hmm, it might be too much room, but I'd rather have too much room than too little. Okay. So, one, two, three. And I've got to do constructors before this one, too. Good God. I'll do constructors over here. So, six, three. Uh, we only need... Th um, no, we only need three for this. Never mind, I'm lost. Oh, and then for this one, we need four. Hmm. I might as well just build them here. I can always just drag the belt under. I might have to reduce the auto save. I said, it's starting to get ridiculous. It wasn't too bad before, but now, eh, you know. Things have gotten chubby in our save file. Three and four, just enough reinforced iron plates. I do have more over here. So, before I forget, let's just mark these. So, these are going to be concrete. This one is going to be uh, was it wire? Help. This is a cry for help. Yes, it was wire. This is going to be steel pipes over here. And they're going to be feeding into different machines. That's why we separate them. So we've got the circuit boards, we've got the quick wire, we've got the silica. They all go into now a manufacturer. Which, um, I said I was going to build them over here, didn't I? Yeah. Let's build them over here. So here we need... Oh, God damn it! we need things from our box. We need five manufacturers. Because like I said, we're doing a whole bunch of control rods and whatnot right now. I'll just kind of gather a little bit of everything. I should do. And hey, would you look at that? If you just build a thing that you can get up on, it's a lot quicker to get back up. I should have really moved these up a floor. Too late now, though. And we're going to be moving this once this is all constructed, so I don't care that I'm clipping it. Okay, so what was it? Five of these? Yeah. Okay, so maybe I could just bend it round like this. And... Uh, oh, I 
I hate, I hate these things. Is that lined up? It is. Good. Bloody manufacturers, too thick. So, five of these? Yeah, and you thought our last build was big. Oh boy. <laughs> Got nothing on nuclear. And then, alright, so we've got everything needed. These are going to be silica high-speed doodads. Yes. And then from here, they go into the three assemblers that are here. A bunch with more materials. And now we need, oh sweet baby Jesus. We need 12 blenders and 15 manufacturers. You know what, I'm going to get this all wired and I'll plug it in and you can sort of see it running, so give me a minute. Honestly, at this point, this is a cry for help. <laughs> Jesus, this is nuts. So, it, I have a better understanding of what's sort of going on, so... Uh, let me just come to it. So these are going to be the two end machines. Basically, we're trying to make the uranium fuel rods, but to do that, we need to mix the uranium with concrete. We have the concrete, we have the uranium. We just need to do the acid that's coming in from here, and then from here, we feed it into this. We have our industrial case beams, which are here, and our control rods, which are here. And all this back here is literally to support what's going on here. <laughs> so... I suppose what I could do now is, hmm, what would be the best way to tackle this? Um, I suppose it doesn't particularly matter. You know what, let's get the blenders in. So we're going to be needing 12 blenders. Which means a whole lot of floor to put in. And hopefully that doesn't collide with this, because that would make me sad. Hey look, I can distro case beams in our rod to here. And they'll just be sort of carrying on going underneath. Although actually, maybe the manufacturers might be better. Because then, yeah, let's get the manufacturers in. So we need in total 15 manufacturers. My God, when I thought <laughs> that down there was a lot of manufacturers. Nope, fuck you. There's even more now. So how much room am I going to need for this? That's the big question. I said this is simply a cry for help. So for 15, let's do three rows of five. That seems um, reasonable. Well, to be fair, there's nothing really reasonable about this. Alright, one, two. Oh god. Yep, this is going to be a lot of room. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice. So we'll bring it out to here. And I'll pick up that slug in a minute. So, good God, three rows of this. Are you... Okay. Okay. Whatever you say, game. So for measurements, let us get mergers back here. God, you look so pathetic <laughs> to these big boys that are on either side of you. Okay, yeah, yeah. The problem with manufacturers are just too big for their own good. They're the second largest, I think, manufacturing building. All right, we need uh, more cable, and then the other thing to put in as well blenders. But then we're mixing it with a whole bunch of other things, and might need to go and get some more plastic too. God damn it! Uh, and from here, actually, you know what? We can actually feed them into both from here. So as long as... You know what? Give me one. So... so as long as we have room... One, two, three... You know what? Just stick it here. And then stick the other ones... How far does this come out? Ah, I see. So the marker for this is... Here? And this needs to be scooted over. I just want to double check this. Oh. Ah, God. I swear. Always repeating myself. 
If I didn't repeat myself, this playthrough would be done. But here we are, repeating ourselves. So, these take, hang on, these take four components, right? Three, four, one, two, no, three. See, I can count, I promise. So what I'm basically going to do here is something a little different. I didn't think I would need to be doing this ever. Is that, and we'll extend them across. Although... Um, looks like the, this one's a little too far. There we go. Is that good? Eh, close enough. Close enough-ish. So I don't care if it's not correct. Okay, let's carry on with this. Oh, plastic. So yeah, we're going to be sort of having five and I need to go back for materials, but you can sort of see... Oh my god, I've never seen so many manufacturers in one place. Alright, be right back. I'm just going to belt this up and power it and then we can move on to the blenders. Alright, all the manufacturers are now done. The only thing left to put in these are the uranium encased cells. And to do that, we need some acid and a little bit of uranium. But mostly acid, so what I'm going to do is head down to where that is, we're going to be putting 8 refineries down, we're going to feed them into 12 blenders, we're just going to make our uranium cells. The question is, am I going to put them up here or not? Eh, I may as well, everything else is up here. Alright, so let's build some platforms down here, I'm going to have to pump it up, so give me a minute. All right, down at the train station, you can see we have our sulfur here, and you know what, we're just gonna mix it down here. So all we need is sulfur and water. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, thank you, and eight. And as you can see, we have plenty of water down below, and we're just gonna take it from here. So for this, how much water did we need? I think it was 360, yep. Because it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Have I got these the wrong way around? No, thank God. So, hmm. I actually pull the power over here. Eh, the train's going to clip it, but who cares? You know what, in the rare case, we're going to be using Mark 3. Because that should do all of these, plus I'll be able to drag it over. So if we're not putting the power underneath, it's amazing how much quicker you can do power <laughs> when you're not dragging it underneath. It does look messier. But it is quicker. And this one here that's blank, I'm trying to delay as much as possible to bring the uranium in because I said it's going to start using my filters because this whole place is going to get radiated. So what I'm thinking is just literally build the pumps here. So how many pumps is that? So there's 120... Ah, it's only three pumps. Huh. Not right enough then. So, like so. And straight across. So, we're just going to quickly build the pumps here and then have them coming up onto this. There's no point being fancy because this isn't going to be a main build or anything. So, our extractor. In. Uh, oh, I see. In that case, let's put them on the other side. Didn't know there was a dead grid. That means, because I was thinking, ah, that's going to be a problem. Because, ah, okay, I'll explain this right now. How much water do you think a nuclear power plant needs? Just out of curiosity. How much do you think this bugger needs? It needs 300. Per one of these. And I think we're doing something like 30 something of these. Oh god. Which means... So how... Hang on. 
So I could probably build these. Mm, there might be a way around it. Hang on, let me just check again. Where is the water? I always mess this up. So you come out to here. Hmm. Might be doable. Might be doable. We'll see. Yeah. Hopefully it works. So instead we're going this way. So give me my power. Yep, we'll line it up. And then from here, we'll just do the same thing. You saw what I was trying to do. I believe they won't let you build pumps at the edge of the world. Why not? It's a river. I mean, a sea. River sea. Totally. Uh, that's just for me, not for the pumps. Okay. So water pumps. Water pumps. I'm actually surprised it only needs three. Yeah. I should learn from my mistakes from last time. And just put it down. So it helps line up the pumps. I think I need a gap of two between them. Hopefully it fits here. Fingers crossed. Uh, again, I've completely lost where they are. Yeah, that'll work totally. Ah, so they're longer than I thought. Very well. Just do it this way. Then from here, we'll just delete these. Same with you. And hopefully we can get another one. Should be right. Come on. You know you want it. Stop being awkward. There we go. Yeah, three pumps for all this acid. In case you're wondering, we're doing 600 uranium. 600. Pretty crazy. It's not even the uranium all on the map. Oh, God. Don't be a dick. There we go. Happy little noodle. Then just put you to here. Alright, I'm just going to get this all hooked up. And then we're going to drag it up and then... Yeah, we'll get this all hooked up, drag it up and we'll do the blenders. So give me a minute. And just like that, we've got our acid. So, we just need to combine them. You know, it was further down than I thought. But that pump could handle it, so I'm happy. So from here, what we're going to need to do is the... In case you rain themselves. Ah, that means I'm going to have to drag concrete from way over there, but you will see it. So, we're going to be needing 12 of these in total. Yep, 12. So we're just going to do six on each side. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then to help us measure it, you know, the same thing as always. A merger. Although, looking at the back of this, not going to be able to, yeah. Hmm. And I'm too far away from the thing to... Yeah. I just need to get up and see where... Okay, so it's there. Oh, well. Oh, hmm. You know what? Actually, it will be better these being off-center just a little. That good? That's good. Okay. That 12th one. Alright, so all I need to do now is combine all the parts. Oh, Jesus. It, it's nice to nearly get done. It's nice to nearly get done. And then we get on to the actual power plant part, which, you know, is too many pumps. And I've just realised I've got a whole bunch of materials down there. Oh, well. Be right back again. Okay, I think I've got everything kind of done. There's only really one last thing to do, and that's to bring in the uranium. But unfortunately, I can't do my power plant here because the edge of the map... Can you see this line? 
You can't go beyond it with um, pumps. And I'm going to be needing so many pumps. Well, actually, I think it's off the top of my head like 70 plus pumps. And we can't do that. So, what I did was continue this line onwards. We're basically going to be doing it right next to the nitrogen gas. We need it anyway, so... May as well build it up here, where we've got plenty and plenty of water. So, one last thing. Let's plug you in. And time for everything to blow up. Hmm. Ah, the machine lives. Ugh. Well, I made a mild, just a tiny, itty witty little mistake. Um, these require a recycle from the sulfuric acid. I don't know why. Why don't you just use it? It's in the machine. <sighs> but it's done. I simply recycled it back around and now it'll continuously go, which is what all this is. Oh. Radiation's fun. <laughs> and by fun, I mean absolutely awful. So yeah, everything's now producing. It eventually needs to catch up because I think these stack to 200. But we are now making the fuel rods. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have time to do the cooling... Not the cooling towers, the actual power plant. Because uh, we need like 31, 32 of these and they all require huge amount of pumps so we sent them all over that direction and in the next episode i'm gonna get away from them because the radiation's annoying in the next episode we will probably finish our plant as well as do the recycled fingers crossed you know if everything goes a-okay but then again this took a little longer to do than anticipated oh well see you guys in the next episode Bye bye before you leave, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, I stream on Twitch, so come say hello. Or don't, I can't really control you.